Hey guys and welcome back to PlumbingPartsPro.com. Today we're going to do a review on the Milwaukee Tool M18 Pro Press tool system. It's a really good system. Um, we're going to kind of compare it to the M12, the smaller version. I did a video on the M12. Check out the video in the link up top. And uh, stay tuned and check out the video coming up next. Alright, so what we have here is the Milwaukee M18 Pro Press system. And what this is going to do, this is going to do half inch copper through two inch copper. Okay, it will do water and gas. There are different fittings for the water and gas, so make sure you get the correct fittings. Um, actually, I've got a um, this will be a gas fitting here, a couple different gas fittings. The gas fittings typically have a yellow label or a yellow dot and a yellow o-ring. You see that here, the yellow o-ring inside. That one may be a little easier to see inside. And uh, a yellow label around here. Okay. Um, typically your, your water will have like a green dot and a black o-ring okay so it is it is a difference in those fittings but back to the tool we're going to open this up here and as you can see we've got half three quarter one inch and a quarter inch and a half and two inch fittings and um and jaws there's a the size of the, the two inch jaw actually does comes in handy when you have a situation where an uh, apartment complex or a hotel uh, has a leak and you've got all these floors above you when you cut the water off it has to drain down and that could take could take a couple hours you know depending on how many floors above you have and how much water is in the system so the fact that you can turn the water off cut the pipe you may have some residual water in the system and um, some situations you can't solder it because of the, the water in the system. You can make a repair, put a coupling in here, slide it over, and crimp this thing, and be in and out in no time. This is two inch. Just kind of goes over that and crimps it. The main tool itself here has the 18 volt battery. It is a different battery than the M12. Uh, the M12 battery kind of pops in the bottom, kind of like a small drill battery. Uh, this one does slide in there. In order to install the, the jaws, you pull this out, you grab a set of jaws, slide them over it, pop it in place, and it's ready. Okay. Um, you would just slide your your fitting into the jaw. There is a spot where this ridge fits, gets in there, your pipe goes in and you crimp it. Once you press the button here, you'll hear it initiate uh, the start. Let go. And it will automatically crimp it. Once it's crimped, you release it, slide it off, and you're good to go. One of the disadvantages is in the M18 is the weight, it's very heavy compared to the M12, and you cannot rotate this head. So if you have a, a fitting and a tight spot, you would have to turn the entire tool, as where the M12, you could just rotate that head and work it in there. Um, the other advantage of the M18, this does use uh, various different tools or various different heads for the Mega Press. And what Mega Press is, it does um, steel piping. It actually has enough strength to crimp steel pipe to do gas lines and water. They make fittings for gas and water in steel. Um, I'm going to do a review on the jaws to fit this tool in the Mega Press 
in the next week or so. So make sure you stay tuned and check that out. But um, one thing I want to do is show you the comparison of the M18 and the M12. We're also going to weigh them. When you're doing a lot of fittings, it could be a big difference. All right, so the M12 and the M18, you can see the size difference. This one, you flop the lever up, slide it out, the jaw goes in, and locks back in place. Okay, these are both three quarter inch. Um, however, this will do copper only. This one does copper. Um, you can get jaws for PEX, and you can get jaws for the Mega Press. Got my scale here. First, we're going to weigh the uh, M12 with the battery and the three quarter inch jaw. Eight pounds, 12 ounces for this one here. Oh, and the other thing I was telling you about you can rotate this jaw to give you a little bit more versatility. This one, the M18, Ten pounds, thirteen ounces. So it's uh, two pounds, one ounce heavier than the M12. So I do see that as a little bit of a disadvantage if you're doing a lot of fittings, um, working with it a lot. It is going to get heavy if you're working overhead. It's going to get heavy working with this. Uh, it is a great system. I know it's expensive, um, but it's uh, it saves you a lot of time. Uh, a lot of time with cleaning your fittings, a lot of time with um, your flux with your fittings, the cost of solder is going up, uh, the cost of everything is going up. So it's saving time is probably the biggest deal when doing this. Um, changing a water heater out. If you change a water heater in a garage, uh, you can get that thing draining, cut it loose. Sometimes you can just slide it out of the way, continue to let it drain when you're putting the new one in and then uh, be out in 45 minutes um, as opposed to an hour and a half. So it does save time. Um, with your labor you can charge the same amount of labor as it would if you were going to solder it and um, that will help pay for the price of the tool in the long run. But um, we've had them probably a year to year and a half and uh, I don't think we could go without them now. So uh, we've got two sets now we're looking to get maybe even a third one because uh, it really is a pretty handy tool. If you have any questions about it, let me know. Uh, I'm going to have links in the description below uh, to purchase either one of these. And make sure you stay tuned. Uh, I am going to do a review of the Mega Press Jaws. And it's pretty interesting um, having the Mega Press. I'll uh, even do a, a demo of the Mega Press crimp on the next video. I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, give a thumbs up and a like on this video and see you next time. Thanks a lot.